Hi, David Averin, the Visibility Coach. You know, I spent my career touting the importance of being very, very visible in the marketplace. I want to share a very quick and poignant story with you about the unexpected power of invisibility. So it's 1982, my senior year of high school, homecoming time, and I'm taking my girlfriend out to dinner before we went to the school dance. We went to a very nice place. I was feeling very grown up. And following dinner, I motioned the waiter over so I could pay the check. And he just smiled and he said, that's been taken care of, sir. And I said, what do you mean? He said, someone in the restaurant who wanted to remain anonymous just wanted to make this night special for you and cover the check. I didn't know what to say. And I remember leaving the restaurant and just feeling like I was walking on air. I felt so great. And I thought, I'm going to do this for somebody someday. I want, to, I want to make somebody feel as good as I do. Well, of course, time marches on. 30 years later, I'm sitting in a restaurant with two of my three kids, and I look over in the corner and there's this young couple clearly out for their school dance. The boy is in a, a nice suit, probably a size or two too big for him, and the girl looked lovely. And when I saw who their waiter was, later on I, I motioned him over, I said, that young couple in the corner, when they're done with their dinner, would you bring me their check please? And he said, sure, are they friends of yours? I said, no, I don't know them at all. But somebody did this for me 30 years ago, and I want to pay it back and I also want to pay it forward. And he smiled, he says, sure. So we see later on, he's over at the table and we're trying really hard not to look over to be conspicuous. And you can see the boy looks very confused and a little bit animated. And then the waiter leaves and sort of takes an odd way around the restaurant, comes back to our table and he says, I gotta tell you. So the girl started crying and the boy just kept saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I said, that's terrific, it warms my heart. And uh, it was a great experience for my kids as well. As they got up to leave, they made their way to the door. They stopped one last time and just looked around the restaurant. And we're trying really hard just to keep eye contact so that we don't look at them. And they left and it was over. Now, I don't think I changed their life, but I know I made their day. And hopefully they'll pass it forward and make someone else's day as well. So here's what I'm asking of you. If you are able, if you see a young couple up, and we can do this year round, a young couple, a nice couple out to dinner. If you're able, ask the waiter or waitress, to bring you their check. And when they ask why, have them say to them, someone wanted to make that night special for them. And whether it's a young couple or a military family out, or maybe it's an elderly person dining alone, let's see if we can light up a match that maybe starts a brush fire. We're gonna call it the homecoming project. If you're able to do it, share your story with me of what happened and what you experienced and what you felt and what you noticed from them as well. And do it anonymously, of course. And then send me that story, if you can. Just send it to david at visibilitycoach.com. Who knows? It might end up in a book someday. Just some food for thought this time of year. David Averin, the Visibility Coach, reminding you, it's not who you know, it's who knows you.